Welcome, students, to the Minecraft Magic Academy. I am Burke, your headmaster. I would like to introduce you all to a magnificent school of all things magical. Behold! Your wildest dreams will be unraveled as our school year progresses. You will dive into some of the most incredible magical discoveries and learn to wield all kinds of magical power, as well as becoming one with magic itself. Discovering that all life forms have an origin of magic inside. Good luck, students, and may our spirits fly! Field training first period, advanced magical farming second, arcane spell crafting third, advanced witchcraft next. Uh, that class is probably be pretty difficult. Uh, all right, then we have magical tool crafting. Uh, uh, okay, that's gonna be somewhat interesting, I guess. And then finally, alchemy and potions. Interesting. They don't look too bad. Uh, should be a pretty good year. Hey, what's up, panda? You get your schedule? Hey, what's up, Ryan? Uh, you got that offensive magic class you wanted? Yep, first period. Ready to become stronger. Hey, I got it first as well. I'm happy that we got the same dorm as well. Yeah, me, you, and Jordan all share a dorm. We're gonna be able to throw some awesome parties. <laughs> yeah, man, what do you think about that headmaster? Ryan. Ryan. Ryan! Hey, chill out, man. Looking at the beauty coming our way. Hey, I think I'm lost in your eyes. Can you help me? <laughs> Smooth. That was an icebreaker? You heard the way she laughed. Who wouldn't laugh at that stupid pickup line? Shut up and open the door. Whoa, man, this dorm is awesome. This will definitely be great for parties. Hey, here's an idea. Maybe you can go invite that girl you just talked to. <laughs> Look, Panda, you're smart, but you really don't understand women. Let me stick to that. So, you're scared of her already? Why don't we go find Jordan? I'm sure he needs help with his bags. Hey, guys! Can you guys carry my bags for me? Well, be careful, they are fragile. Can't you just get some magical bags that, oh, I don't know, carry your stuff for you? Actually, I can. So, uh, why haven't you done it yet? I haven't had the time. I spent all summer studying. Oh, of course you did. You guys do anything fun? I taught this girl how to shoot a fireball. For future reference, that's a bad idea. You know how they get. You tell them to hold on, and next thing you know, fireballs are being launched in your direction. I'm sure that's just as real as my story. I tamed a dragon and then fought a giant. You guys are both liars. Hey, 
Hey guys, I know you are Panda. You are the dude who tried a horrible pickup line. And you are... Jordan! It's a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Um, nice to meet you too. Anyways, Panda, I've heard quite a bit about you. Huh, that's interesting. If I had to guess, I think you've been spying on me. Uh, no, I have no reason to spy on you. <laughs> Unless, of course, you need to learn something. I'm interested in learning more about you. Good luck. Ryan, you are really smooth. I should start to take some notes. Aw, look. Jessica's finally starting to make some friends. And you are... Angelica. What, you never heard of Miss Popular before? Real shocker. Oh, shut up, Jessica. You're just jealous of what I have. Uh, what exactly do you have? This doesn't concern you. Alright, look, there's no need for you to come up here and start picking on her. She didn't do anything. Hey, babe. This clown giving you issues? <sighs> and you are? Don't worry about who I am. Just know that you really don't want to mess with me or my girlfriend. Logan, it's okay. He isn't that big of a deal. Logan, don't worry. I'm the one Angelica's mad at. Let me take care of her for you. Ah, uh, not bad. You idiot! I was going easy because she was a girl. But you, I won't hold back. Give me your best shot. Uh, Panda? You really don't want to make this guy mad. Hmm. I see why you were placed an intro to offensive magic. Come with me. See what you did, Jessica? This is why you don't have friends! Ugh! Hey, don't listen to her. Those two make me mad. If they give you any more problems, let me know and I'll deal with them. Ryan, not everything is a fight. Thanks, guys. But she's right. Well, obviously she has more to her story. No, really? Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> you don't want to talk to me. <sighs> Obviously, I do. I'm here. Panda, what she said is right. I don't have friends. And I don't deserve any. She was an idiot who only likes to put others down to make herself feel better. It doesn't make what she said not true. I've known her my entire life. And I just met you. Exactly! You just met me. She's known me my entire life. Even though I just met you, I see some of your best qualities. You're smart, brave, funny, and beautiful. I want to learn more about you. I'm not beautiful. No one has ever said that to me. Why would you? Because I mean it. If you really mean it, meet me at the pond tonight, 10:30. Yeah, I'm just—I'm not saying I'm scared or anything. I just—I just want to make sure you realize that you know, going out past curfew can get us expelled from school. I'll be at the pond. I hope to see you soon, Panda. She has a lot more to say. I, I really, I just want to know it. I, I want to know her story. Panda, I love you, but there is no way this is real. You can barely get your mother to talk to you. What makes you believe that this girl wants to meet you tonight? Ryan, there's no need to be jealous. Look, man, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. If this is real, then you can't pass up on this opportunity. Ryan, you realize if Panda is caught, he can be kicked out of school, right? Jordan, you realize if Panda doesn't take this opportunity, he will never get a girl to talk to him again. <laughs> Ryan, you're an idiot. 
Eh, I call them like I see them. If I'm calling them how you see them, then you're also single and all you have done is make girls walk away embarrassed for you. Okay, if you two are done with your little love dispute, we can clearly tell that this is way too risky and not worth some girl. Panda, I could go for you. They wouldn't catch me. You know how disappointed she'd be to see you? Just putting the offer out there for you to think about. Hmm, I thought about it and my answer is no. If it's too risky for me to go, then why would I let my best friend go? Because I won't get caught. Ryan, you do realize how strong Headmaster is, right? He could see any rule breakers from his quarters. Like he's not asleep right now. You know what? Just, just forget about it. I'll think about it and I'll tell you what happened in the morning. Don't do anything stupid, Panda. Hey, um, I'm sorry. I didn't know you'd be here this early. There's no need to be sorry. I told you to be here at 10.30. It's only 10. Um, how long have you been sitting here? A while. Are you okay? Of course. You're willing to talk to me, even though you're risking your enrollment at this school. You are worth it. Duh. I want to tell you more about me. But I'm curious about you. Uh, well, my name is Panda. <laughs> I know that, you idiot. But I want to know more. Tell me why you stood up for me. Why would I let you get a fireball thrown at you? I don't know. Did it hurt? Uh, nah, nah, not a, not a bit. Mm -hmm. Sounded like you were in pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, maybe a little, but did you see how the headmaster just took that fireball like it was nothing? Did you really mean what you said earlier? Of course I did. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. I have something else I want to tell you. Um, so you gonna tell me you're just gonna leave me on a cliffhanger? Oh, I get it. <laughs>